I would now like to call Sadaf Abed, CEO of Circle Women. Assalamu alaikum everyone. So I'm Sadaf, I'm the founder and CEO of Circle, which works on women's economic empowerment with the goal to bring digital literacy, technology, and entrepreneurship to women. Today, there are more than three billion people in the world who do not have access to internet, something you and I take for granted. The mobile phone, the smartphone, is a great invention of our times opening up possibilities to build connections, networks, skills, knowledge, and even livelihoods. However, there are millions of women across the world who do not know how to use the smartphone, to use the internet, or have a smartphone. Circle is building a model that is about inclusion and leveraging digital technology so we can build a more inclusive and equitable world. Today in Pakistan, the women are 38% less likely than men to own a mobile phone, 48% less likely to have mobile internet, and a shocking 94% less likely than men to have mobile bank accounts. Further, in the world today, there are 740 million women who do not have access to financial services. 740 million women. But this is not charity. If banks were to design financial services that met women's needs, like they do it for men, and they were to look at the pain points that women face, and the opportunities and their needs, they would unlock $740 billion as annual revenue. This is a problem that I am excited and committed to solve. So at Circle, under the pandemic, when all of us moved online, I realized how millions of women were unable to do that. And with the support of UN Women, we did a pilot. We worked with 60 women across the country, Quetta, uh, Peshawar, Multan, and these were home-based workers, women who had micro-enterprises who were part of the formal, informal economy, the women who were hardest to reach. And we trained them using digital tools, bringing them onto platforms like Zoom and Google Meet that they had never even heard of, and use WhatsApp to connect and build communities. From 60 women, the next year, UN Women supported us to reach another 350 women. And we saw positive change. We saw these women adopting technology, using it for the benefit of their family, and also accessing new customers. Last year, in 2022, with the support of British Asian Trust, which is King Charles Charity, the L'Oreal Fund for Women, Circle reached out to 6,000 low-income women bottom of the pyramid, across 60 plus locations. From Gilgit, Ghizar, Skardu, to Rahim Yar Khan, Multan, Sialkot, Bahawalpur, Jhang, Toba, Teg Singh. I got to see places in Pakistan that I had never been before. And I saw the potential at the bottom of the pyramid. So this year, with the support of Gates Foundation, we are building a model to scale up. This year, our goal is to reach 30,000 women, and inshallah, over the next three, four years, to one million. How are we going to do it? Well, we will both do direct training, which is uh, where we work with NGO partners, tech startups, communities to identify women. We train them, we bring them online, and we train them using smartphones, and we give them data bundles. They also come to locations and centers in different communities where our trainers go. But the exciting element and what is going to help us multiply is to build women as digital agents in communities. So we will train women in communities and they will then in turn train 150, 200 other women so we can amplify and uh, grow exponentially. The goal over here is to build a digital Pakistan. 
And I invite all of you here in your capacity to join this movement and to really make a commitment to making a difference for women and communities at the bottom of the pyramid, those that are hardest to reach. Majority of the uh, three billion people who do not have access to internet actually reside in South Asia. And Pakistan has one of the widest digital and financial divides. So unless we build a base for a digital Pakistan, we cannot really then move forward and go ahead. We also brought She Loves Tech to Pakistan, which is now the world's largest women and startup community in the world. The she Loves Tech competition it happens in 70 countries, and the winner from Pakistan, who uh, is selected after a variety of rounds that happen all across the uh, country, from GB to Multan to Bahawalpur to Sakhar, the best top finalists present, and the winner gets to go to Singapore. All of these efforts are important because we must build a diverse and inclusive society. If we do not leverage the talents of 50% of our population, Pakistan as a nation cannot really progress. And that is where I ask all of you over here to join the movement, whether you're a young person, a startup, private sector, government, civil society, there is an urgent need for us to collaborate for us to innovate and to build a scalable model. The time is now and we must take that responsibility. If not now, then when? If not us, then who? Let us make this a decade for transformation where digital plays a huge role, but a transformation that lifts everyone, especially women at the bottom of the pyramid. Thank you so much.